Hey, what's up? So I've been using Linux for a little bit more than a week now and I've been using more specifically the Linux Mint Debian Edition and in my last video I explained that I wasn't so sure if I wanted to stay on Linux or switch back to Windows so today I wanted to make a video explaining why I'm actually choosing to stick with Linux okay and so if you're thinking about switching to Linux or if you're an experienced user looking for a fresher perspective then this video could be for you okay so let's go right in Alright, so the first point that I wanted to talk about is that Windows isn't your friend, okay? Linux is. And so before switching to Linux, uh, more about, about a week ago, I've been a quite long time user of, of Windows, okay? And what I mean by Windows isn't really your friend is that Yes, Microsoft, they make it convenient and they make it beautiful and they have a good user interface or whatever and they make it super easy for you to use Windows and everybody's using it. But as of right now, I've made a bunch of research in the last weeks and right now I don't really like the direction that Windows is taking, okay? And so I think that soon in the future, to have a proper experience on Windows, you'll either need some sort of monthly subscription uh, to have so, to have like Windows as a service or something, or if you don't want to pay your subscription, I think what's going to need to happen is that you'll need a NAT blocker for the whole system because if you don't pay the monthly sub subscription, then they'll they'll show you a bunch of ads, okay? And so, like, this is, this, this is not, this is not good, okay? This is not a good experience. This is not something that I want to experience, okay? And also, Windows is already known for spying, monitoring, and collecting data from its user. And they take this data and they sell it to other companies or whatever, okay? But I also think that it is going to get worse in the future because Microsoft is moving more and more into the cloud. And so more cloud means more internet connection, that means more spying, more data, and that means more ads and other things. And so for me, privacy is not a big deal breaker, but it's just that I'm spending a lot of time on my computer, okay, both for my work and my entertainment because I'm a computer tech guy, okay, but ultimately I don't want to rent or pay a monthly subscription to use my computer either with my softwares or with the operating system itself and I don't want any ads and if I can avoid being monitored and being spied on, uh, I don't want that, okay, I don't want that. And Linux doesn't do any of these things, okay? Because Linux is actually your friend. And yes, Linux is a little bit more difficult to use, especially uh, if you're using the command line or something like that. And it's also more difficult to find compatible softwares. But ultimately, I feel like I can trust Linux way more than Windows, okay? And also with Linux, I get to own the software. So I think this is really cool. And the second point that I wanted to talk about is that Linux improved a lot, okay? Because I used Linux many times before, uh, but as of right now, it's been years since the last time that I've used Linux. But I can tell that it improved a lot, okay? Because I remember when I tried Linux and then when I used Linux a few years ago, I had to use much more the common line and because I was using much more the common line, I would break I would always be breaking a bunch of things, okay? But maybe it's the nature of my work that changed or I don't know because as of right now, I don't really feel like I need to use the common line that much as I used to do before. So as of right now, the only time that I have to use the common line is to install some sort of software that is not in the software uh, manager 
or if I need to update something or whatever, then it's kind of the only times that I have to do it, okay? And also to install some sort of driver, for example, the NVIDIA, the NVIDIA driver, I might need the command line in order to do that, okay? And another thing is that also play video games, okay? And when I used Linux uh, many years ago, uh, Proton was not available, okay? It did not exist. But as of right now, there's Proton that support more and more video games. And so that's kind of what it is. I think that Proton is a very attractive thing if you're playing video games, okay? Because as of right now, Proton is supporting a bunch of games and it's not supporting all the games, okay? But the fact that they're supporting more and more games and it is, it is being developed, I, I really love that, okay? And I can support that definitely. And another thing is that most distro, they come, you install a distro and it comes with a lot of tools out of the box, okay? And if you need software, more software that, not, that is not already installed, then uh, most distros, you can use the software manager to install what you need, okay? And yes, the software, they might not have the best name or whatever so usually like the software they have some weird name because usually it's some sort of programmer that create these softwares and it's not the best looking name i think but you know it's i could deal with that i guess another thing that would be pretty cool i think is that if software manager could also develop to maybe include as much free software as possible. I mean, not in, not only free software, but any software that could be useful if they if this, the manager can support that. I think that would be interesting. Okay. The third point that I wanted to talk about is freelancer and creator. And for me, it's it's it, it's quite easy to switch from window from Windows to Linux because. I am an online entrepreneur, okay? I am self-employed. And so that means that I'm quite independent and I'm not bound to any companies or boss or co-worker or anything. So in my case, that means that I can simply choose the tools that I want. I can simply choose uh, the softwares that I want. The only thing that I really need is that I need to get the job done, okay? So that's the only thing that I really need. And so, for example, I know that Adobe softwares can be important if you're in a team or if you're working in a company because then, uh, you know, like Adobe, they make, it e they make it easier for you to have the same workflow and to use the same tool and to collaborate or whatever. But in my case, since I'm some sort of freelancer and entrepreneur or and I'm self-employed, all these things, that doesn't really apply, okay? So in my case, I can choose my own software, I can choose my own operating systems, I can choose my own tools without any external restrictions. The fourth point that I wanted to talk about is philosophy, ethics, and freedom. And one of the things that I love about Linux is the philosophy that it promotes, okay? And the philosophy is all about freedom, transparency, and privacy, and, and doing the right thing. I feel like everybody on Linux is kind of trying to do the right thing, if that makes sense. And most of the things that you'll see on Linux is free and open source, okay? But you see, free isn't only about uh, in terms of cost, it's it's also in terms of freedom, okay? And for me personally, the main reason I decided to become an entrepreneur is for the freedom, okay? So freedom, I wanted to be free. I wanted to be free from corporation. I wanted to be free from having a boss. And so for me, freedom is a very important value, okay? This is why I became an, an entrepreneur in the first place. And another cool thing that I think about free and open source software is that everything is made by the community for the community, okay? And so what that means is that everything Everything that is being created has the end user in mind, okay? Because the people, they're creating the softwares for themselves, if that makes sense, okay? And not necessarily for profits. And I think that's a big plus because usually when money is involved, 
you also find some sort of manipulation because uh, when it is profit driven, when it, when something is profit driven, then there's also there's always a cost to that, and usually the cost is uh, the sake of the users. Okay, and so the philosophy of Linux about freedom, transparency, and privacy ultimately that gives me peace of mind, and for me that's a it's it's also a very important value for me. Okay. The fifth point that I wanted to talk about is cost effective. And just like I said before, yes, uh, Linux and other softwares are free and open source. And as an online entrepreneur, I have to be careful about my expenses and the money that I spend, okay? And using free and open source software can be a cost effective solution because yes, free here kind of have to two meanings if that makes sense okay there's the free related to freedom but it's also free in term of money so if you're trying to avoid a uh, monthly subscription or if you're trying to save money then free and open source software can be a solution but you see it's not all it's not only free but you also, you actually own the software as well so by owning the software it won't disappear tomorrow even if you stop using it okay and to be honest i think it's quite amazing and so yes free and open source software are free but ultimately uh i haven't done it yet but uh, i would recommend donating and contributing to this to the project and the software that you're using simply to support the developers and the community okay i haven't done it yet because i'm quite new into the community and and i wanted to try linux a little bit before but in my case i can afford to to pay for my softwares and so donating and 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 giving money to the softwares that i use is definitely on my to-do list okay but you see like I'm going to donate money and give money not because I need to just like you would purchase a certain product or something but I'm going to, I'm going to donate money because I'm free to do it okay I want to do it I want to give money I want to give money and so I'm free to do it and so I think that that's that makes a whole difference now the sixth point that I wanted to talk about is web apps okay and we all do different things on the computer and depending on your needs, I think that most people only truly need a web browser on their computer, okay? And today I think that it is becoming easier and easier to do everything that you need using a, a web browser, okay? And obviously Linux have web browser. And so, for example, what I mean by that is that if you're trying to create a design, for example, uh, instead of downloading softwares directly on your computer, you can use web apps that you can use using web browser, okay? And so, instead of using GIMP or something like Photoshop or so any software that you might download, what you can do is find website and web apps uh, like Photopea and Kittle and Microsoft Designer that you can simply use inside a web browser. And so if you're looking for a bunch of apps on your computer, well, what you can do is simply try to replace everything with web apps, okay? So in conclusion, if you're thinking about switching to Linux, I would recommend that you find a distro that has everything that you need out of the box if possible okay because ideally i think that you want to avoid installing things manually okay so in my case when i installed my distro here i had to install uh, the nvidia driver manually and i have to i had to use the command line to install a bunch of things but ultimately like you want to avoid that i think okay you want to avoid using the terminal and ultimately, I think the most difficult thing about switching to Linux from, in my case, it was Windows, but it's about finding and learning the alternatives to what you're already using, okay? But once you have all these things figured out, then you're good, okay? You can simply switch 
the workflow that you have, for example, I was on Windows, you simply change your workflow from Windows to Linux and you change all the application and all of these things but once you're up and running then it's fine and so as of right now i've been on linux for about uh, a little bit more than a week and as of right now the only painful experiences that i had was uh, in the very beginning okay when i had to install a bunch of software that i needed and the drivers that i needed and all of that but but once i've done that then i'm pretty good okay i'm pretty good and my workflow is up and running and basically everything that i was doing on windows currently i'm doing it on linux with different softwares and different alternatives the only thing that you have to keep in mind is that once in a while, you might need to use the common line to make little things, okay? And so for me, I'm okay with computers and I'm okay I'm making a bunch of research on the web or whatever. So for me, that's something that I can deal with, but you might need to use the common line once in a while, okay? So that's pretty much it for this video, okay?